This is the moment I've been waiting for. Hajime, knock her ass the f out, bro. I'm over here texting. <laughs> I'm over here texting on my phone and I heard the full theme song to this game. I'm like, yo, Spike, you may piss me off when it comes to the way you be spelling words and sentences, taking me for loop did a loop doop doop, no nardwar in these plot twists, but you know damn well how to make a theme song, bro. What? I don't want no problems today, sir. Good job, right? Hey, to some more danger, but let's get this thing over. After being released from the funhouse, we went back to living our less than ordinary lives. And just like before, our day began with us gathering at the restaurant. Dang, so not even within 24 hours, because I think the trial happened at night. We crashed, woke up and right back here without Gundam. And a splash, Maru. Jeez. You know, every time we meet up here, it makes me realize just how crazy this whole situation is. Um, the restaurant certainly feels more spacious than before. Of course, it feels spacious. There are less than half of us here now than there were at the beginning. Damn, less than half. This game, bro. Stupid fool. <laughs> Let me think. Who could that be? Who, who whose voice could that be? Stupid fool. That sounds like Nakamaru. Oh my. Huh? Did you hear something? Hey. That's what I thought. It's Nakamaru. That was Coach Nakamaru's voice. Huh? W what are you talking about? He's no longer. What's up? <laughs> I'll beat you up. What are you laughing about? I'll beat the crap out of you if you keep grossing me out like that. All right, we're all we're all good. We're all good. Making sure <laughs> we're recording. Hey, hey, that's not cool. I was up all night working my fingers to the bone. I am concerned. More importantly. I'm starting to get tired of the seasonings in this restaurant. What? Oh, I can't zoom in on this. I'm over here playing it like it's Sims, pushing tab. All right, well, I mean, what are y'all over there drinking? Piss? I don't know about that table, bro. It looks like a bunch of mash. Jeez. Seriously, starting to realize how valuable Terra Terra was. <laughs> what did Terra Terra say that one time? <laughs> like he was he just turned country out of nowhere i'll never forget that that was one of the most weirdest dangin moments ever huh? don't ignore me i'm trying to talk to you about something important huh important all right this it took me all night to make my is that uh, nekomaru doll This dude took a, a used up ravioli can, slapped a, a clock sticker on the front. What is that? I'm no doll. I'm Minimaru. You know what? I really thought Sonya and Kazuichi was the killers this last trial. So for him to be making this, it still feels ingenuine. But at the same time, that's just me feeling weird that I was wrong. It's not the first time I was wrong in this game, I'll be honest. Huh? You said I've been wrong every time? Is that true though? Let me think. Did I predict anything? I caught the first, uh, the first death in the first game when I saw Leon on, on, on the wall. You said you saw it too. All right, let's just keep playing. I took some parts from him to make it. What do you think? Some quality, right? 
Why am I so high pitched with this shit? <laughs> of course, it doesn't have free will or anything, so it's more like, you know, a toy. But isn't it freaking adorable? Are you serious? Oh. 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 It's so cute! Thanks. I'll keep it. I got some toys for you too. It ain't disposable or detachable, but the energizer bunny. It'll keep it it'll keep going and going and going. Huh? I never said anything about giving it away. I'll beat you up! Don't be so stuck up. Your stuff is my stuff, right? Whoa! Whoa, hey now! Then that's a bully's logic. Kazuichi, that was the perfect time for you to slip some pervert in, bro, but you missed it. Man. Well, it doesn't matter. I made this to cheer you guys up anyway. Hmm. And as long as we have it, we won't forget, you know? About Nekomaru's sacrifice for us. What about Gundam's sacrifice for us? We're standing here today because of him. So, if we're gonna prevent something like that from ever happening again, Engines revving. I guess we gotta fight too, right? We, we can't just keep running away. Okay, <laughs> Soda. I gotta admit, I never thought I'd hear you say something that awesome. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I don't know, bro. He remind me of, I don't know why he wanted him to be a killer. I didn't know he had a little dreadlock. Okay, he got a little bit of swag. Um. In the end, Gundam told us to never give up on life. I... So I will never forgive up. I shall fight until the very end. <laughs> Gundam, please watch over me. That sounds like a little bit like witchcraft. I don't know. Miss Sonia? What, what, did, what did you think of my little pep talk? Oh my. Oh, did you say something over there? Are you kidding me? What? I was up all night memorizing that speech. You said three words, my dude. Relax. Jeez. I mean, three sentences. And there's a punchline. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this. Thanks, Kazuichi. I am Minimaru. I am Mini. <laughs> Splash. Maru. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only half as happy to be thanked by you. That's right. Oh, by the way, you can also use that to massage your sore muscles and pressure points. You serious? Uh, are you serious? That's amazing. So you said now he can still do it to you? We all know what y'all was doing in that room. I just happened to catch you before it got started or, or, or after. A massage is perfect before or after, so. I know what they was in there doing. Of course. I made it after all. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Thanks. I'll take good care of it. Akane looks really happy. Hey, hey. Anyway, what happened to Nagito? I haven't seen him like I usually do. <laughs> Nagito, we have to talk about that ending scene last episode, bro. What were you doing conspiring with the enemy? Now you want to be uh, a minstrel of evil, the doer of all devil of all devilish deeds? Like, stop it, bro. I know y'all caught that alliteration too. I ain't been in school for years and I'm still catching alliterations. Oh my gosh, man. What should we look out for him for this, this chapter, you think? Killer, accomplice, Nah, he's probably lying to, to Monokuma. I don't think Neg Nagito, I almost called him something else. I don't think Nagito would be the type to like. <sighs> I don't know about this dude though, bro. You don't have to worry about that guy. He goes solo all the freaking time. Well. But still, I'm a little worried about how he was acting during that last class trial. Well, he's always been a dangerous bastard, but he's crossed the line, you know? Hey, hey! Then that's even more reason we should avoid him! But still... But even if we do avoid him, what are you going to do if he approaches us? 
Nagito's sudden change was really weird. I wonder, did he figure something out that we're not aware of? He has all of our class files. Now then. Anyway, Hajime, isn't it about time you told us what that was all about? Huh? That, what? <laughs> you know, what Nagito said during the trial. You still don't realize it. Jeez, get it together. You're supposed to be the symbol of symbols of hope, aren't you? Ah, I forgot. Except for Hajime, of course. You lame loser, lying little leaflet. Hey, bastard. What did he mean by except for Hajime? Uh oh, Hajime about to get pressed because he has no talents, bro. Golly, I, this is about to make me cringe for Haji. Are you really the traitor after all? No, it, it's not like that. I didn't really want to say it, but I guess I have no choice. Um, To tell you guys the truth, unlike the rest of you, well, apparently I was never part of Hope's Peak Hope's Peak Academy's primary department. I'm a reserve course student from the reserve department. Huh? Reserve department? <clears throat> it means, um, unlike you guys, I don't have an ultimate talent at all. Apparently, I'm just a normal person. <laughs> Is that all? Uh. What? That's it? Dude, don't ever scare me like that. Like, it's not something that I can just brush off, especially since it's, since it's about me. I thought I just forgot. I thought I got into Hope's Peak Academy because I, I had talent all along, but My whole life, I've just wanted to feel confident about myself. Ooh, we about to get in, into some backstory. And I thought getting into Hope's Peak Academy meant I had finally become someone I could be proud of. Damn, bro. Not some fucking backup student. Damn, that's all we get. We wasn't gonna get the little Twinkly song that we, I, the song I was hoping for was You know what I'm talking about? Right? Cheer up, Hajime. It doesn't matter if you're from the reserve department. Of course. She is right. No matter what, you are our friend. You know, there is a saying in Japan. Listen. Fear is grateful for the danger. Hey. Right? That had nothing. What? The hell? You're saying that all wrong. <laughs> Damn! Somebody took a bat to your brain, like the blood. I'm glad the blood is purple in this because I don't get demonetized. Like uh, I, it, I would essentially get demonetized for this whole clip right here. I got, I got deep, bro. Get this off the back, PG. Blur out that skull, bro. I got that going on in the back still, bro. What was her name? Hanita? Manita? No, Manita. That's my hero. Bro, what is a little girl name who built this in the first place? Somebody come take this down. We ain't even been here. We've been in a fun house this whole time. Okay, we're back. Finish eating your, your pudding in the morning and get this mess out the kitchen. Or use it on to bring Nekamaru back. Nigga, if you're going to bring anybody back, you better try Gundam. That's probably the best success you're going to find from this these skulls. <sighs> So everyone was here. Hey, it was a real close battle. I am sorry. I apologize. 
I was trying to cheer you up, but I ended up saying the wrong thing. <laughs> Are we gonna ignore Monami coming in here bloody and bruised? Well, it doesn't matter. Stuff is just hard to say sometimes. Huh? huh? That's weird. M maybe you can't see me? Um... Huh? Whoa, what the heck? You're covered in blood. Hmm? Uh, you saw me. Yes, that's right. The, the mana beast this time was very strong. Yeah. Gross. Don't get close to me. Get out of here now. What? No gratitude. I'm being treated like Phil. Hey, hey. Hey, um, why don't you clean that blood off? We're trying to eat. Monami just cleared out a mono beast and none of y'all can say thank you or offer a bandage. Like, come on, man. Y'all ain't even, y'all never actually try to eat though. Drinking two jugs of piss. I don't know what that is in that bowl at the top. Is that hot wings or nachos or whatever it is. It's about to have all of y'all in here nekumaring in a minute. <laughs> Splash. Nobody eats that kind of heavy ass meal first thing in the morning. You got to eat oats or some scrambled eggs or maybe even some um, grits. Uh, yes, I'm ashamed of myself. Ding, 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 ding. And where did she get the wipes from? You know where she got them from. There we go. Now then, allow me to report to you all once again. After a fierce battle that's never been seen in history. Sorry. I finally succeeded in conquering the last mono beast. Ooh, which would mean there's probably one trial there. And then one more after that and the game is finally over. I love this game though, don't get me twisted. Uh, but at the same time, like, you know? Because of this, it's finally possible for you to travel to the final island. Ah. Nice see. <laughs> what a thin reaction. It's like I'm surrounded by tons of shabu shabu from an all you can eat restaurant. Um. Don't tell me this again. You're gonna say stuff like, It's not like we can get off this island. Why bother going to the new island? Well, it's true that I don't really expect much. Don't misunderstand. But who said we weren't gonna go? Obviously, we're gonna go, dumbass. <laughs> eh? Huh? So. Assuming we're thinking about running away was a mistake. I'll show you my Because if we can't side. run, we'll fight. I'll crush everyone who put us through this crap in one blow. Hey, hey. Fight? Seriously? That fearsome group is called World Ender for a reason, you know? What are you saying? Why, you, did you forget what you said earlier? Hey, hey, hey! Dumbass, I only said that because I was trying to impress Miss Sonya. I'm trying to get them buns. No breakfast time. What? Don't brag about that. Baby gangsta, you you had one of the finest chicks in here and you're going to say like some, some like corny, like we know you was getting it in, bro. Nobody has a personal servant that looked like that and you just having her defend actions she, you she's just she's just a shield for you no she a shield she a thrill Settle down. if you have the power to fight among yourselves then direct that power toward our enemy all right now then let us go forth offense is the best defense damn right you're right now's not the time for us to be bickering Hmm. I, I, I don't really get it, but when Miss Sonya talks like that, my blood starts to boil. All right. All right. I'm getting pumped up. Let's charge our way to that new island. I'm starting to get pumped up. The Future Foundation, Monokuma, Monami. I'll crush them all at once. What? Even me? <laughs> you guys seem reliable let's go chiaki hey don't talk like you're not included you're you're our friend too you know mm. you're right 
Leave it to me. Then I gotta do my best too. Okay, girl. Okay, like, like turn up a little bit more. Your energy is still at like a like a fifty percent. We're all at seventy or above. Rise your rise your vibrations. As we left the restaurant, the expressions on our faces were clearly different than they were before. They were filled with strong will and determination. Armed with that, we began walking toward the last island. But the clouds in my heart still lingered. I couldn't stop thinking about the reserve department. And that filled me with this strange, uncomfortable feeling. Uh, like a small bone was lodged in my throat. But I tried not to think about it. I tried to stay focused on moving forward. Chapter 5. Smile at Hope in the Name of Despair. I don't know what that means. Uh, that sounds horrible, though. With the, mono be with the mono beast gone, we crossed the fifth bridge and arrived at the final island. Ooh, that's a thumbnail. So this is the last island. Wow. That's actually the thumbnail with him saying that. Enormous buildings towered everywhere, as if the entire island were one gigantic city. It felt very sci-fi, as though the island was a snapshot of an urban me metropolis from the near future. Let me take a look at this, though. So we have like a little Chinatown area to the bottom left. To the right, that looks like downtown, maybe like a business district. We got the high rises to the top left in the middle. And a helicopter with Monokuma's decal on the front. Or like a shark or something. Oh, we got some TVs in the bottom. Okay, all right. It's going, we, going, we got a lot to explore. Let's get into it. I guess it has an ambiance befitting of a final island. I'd say so. Oh, wow. We're here. This is the closest we've seen Haji. Vendor Street, that's what this is called. All right. This feel like Sims a little. The Mushinu District. And I was wondering who was lured here by the smell. I expected Akane though, not you. I wasn't lured by the smell or anything. She smelled like Chuck E. Cheese feet in here. Anyway. Looks like this street is full of food vendors. But as you can see, there's no customers or staff. Only the food is here. Normally, a street like this would be bustling with activity. But there's no one here. You don't see Monokuma scarfing down that whole bowl of noodle? It's actually pretty creepy to think about. Monokuma left side don't even want anymore. He's just gluttonous. Oh, wow. No. How do I not have all of them yet? Well, because we haven't been everywhere yet. Okay, cameras, cameras. Here he go. We're gone. Vendor Street. All right. The name of this island is just Last Island. All right, the little, okay, the factory. Chiaki, baby girl. White smoke is billowing from the building in the back. Is this some kind of factory? But if it's got Monokuma's face on it, I'm sure it's a shady factory anyway. Hajime. Ah, Hajime. Good timing. What's up, Chiaki? See? This building clearly looks suspicious, right? I was thinking it might be good if I thoroughly look around inside, but... Well? Since it clearly looks suspicious, I thought it'd be dangerous to go look alone. Then do you want to go inside together? Why are you, why would you, oh my gosh, bro. This is like girls, bro. But the, at the same time, Hajime should have picked up on them clothes. Haji, you know, you know, she was definitely opening herself up to Hajime being like, 
don't worry i'll go inside with you let's go that's more nagito swag but hajime was like do you want to go inside together like why do i scratch my face first yeah yeah hajime you should have picked up on that but chiaki you also foolish for doing this put your head off and now we're we're done talking chiaki it might be better if i just go inside first oh brother you hey hajime you're the kind of person who waits until the very end to eat their favorite food aren't you how could you tell well i like to eat my favorite foods first okay like see so instead of the warehouse let's start with the factory i guess you're right oh okay warehouse factory got it all right then i'm going inside the plushy factory Yo, Sean. What's up, Sean? This where you got your. This where you got the doll from me, from bro. You over there staring at me. What the heck is this? I didn't think it was scary. <laughs> Why the music turn up like this? What was being manufactured one after the other and being carried away on a conveyor belt was Monokuma. Oh, this is merch for the TV show that that, that this is going on with. Oh, I think this chapter they realized they're in a game show just like the other students did. What do you have to say about this girl? Nothing? She's just blankly staring at the machine. Looks like she's taken it back too. Oh, that's that's obvious, I suppose. Well. Watching simple machines like this reminds me of games. Games? Yep. Like this one game where you just put caps on pens. Or another game where you try to guess a person's gender. This game couldn't have came out 2019, bro, because that statement alone would have got Spike canceled. Is that even fun? Even if I did a video like it like that, I'd bro, it'd be a wrap for this channel, bro. For like a week, then I'd be cool again. What are you asking? Okay, probably just this main button, right? The conveyor belt is endlessly moving through this enormous machine. The coconut tree carried by the conveyor belt is processed and eventually made into this stupid thing. Oh, okay, so that's the process. The trees turn into the the, the, the heads, the heads turn into the bodies, the bodies get thrown into the bin. Got it. Woo, woo, let me get. Oh, they tried it. They tried it. Uh, I've been found. Ten coins. The Monokumas are being tossed into this gigantic basket, one after the other. They better not be real. I picked one up with my hand. I see. So these are plushies. Um. Monokuma plushies. Ah, uh, the real Monokuma is sort of like a plushie too. But unlike him, these are probably actual plushies. <laughs> Isn't this the resemblance uncanny? They're my life-size plushies. L life size plushies? <laughs> I was planning to hit the big time with these. That's why I'm making them like crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna be rich. But you've made way too many. You're gonna be overstocked when it's all said and done. Monokuma's life-size plushie. I don't want it. Mm. Mm, I see. So this place is for manufacturing life-size Monokuma plushies. W what kind of messed up place is this? Yeah. Don't look down on me! Do you really think it's just for life-size plushies? <laughs> There's a lot more Monokuma merch in the goods warehouse next door. Hey, hey. What should we do? Go look at what else he got. I might want something myself. Send it to my P.O. box. I do have a P.O. box, y'all. 
I'm gonna make a video about it soon, probably this week, before like probably like this weekend, I'll make a little announcement, a little update video, check in with y'all, see how we feeling, let y'all know about the PO box so you can send me, send me everything except explosives. Honestly, I really don't feel like going. But still. But what if there's some kind of important clue? What are you gonna do? You, you're right. Then we should go there just for a little while. All right, bet we we headed there. All right, the goods warehouse. Let's see what kind of merch you got in here. Okay, so he got little little flyer boards. Without thinking, I peeked into the piled up stacks of cardboard boxes. There's a Monokuma calendar, a Monokuma sandbag, and even a Monokuma guitar. First, there was the Monokuma archive in the funhouse. Now there's a plushie factory and all these goods. How full of himself is he? <laughs> Mascot popularity doesn't last forever. I gotta earn the big bucks while I can. Message. I'm gonna spill my coffee on my mixer. A mascot that isn't popular anymore is like a piece of candy without any sugar. <laughs> In other words, it has no reason for existing. He's starting to talk even crazier. He's kind of like admitting his role in all this. But why am I able to do this? All right. It's like I can just, <clears throat> sorry, that's not her voice. It's like I can just, it's like I can tell just from the ambience that there are no important clues here. Well, I mean, at least we confirm that. We're out. I might as well investigate. Did you not hear what she just said? Bro? This looks like a Monokuma panel. But why so many? Phew. I was thinking about using these to decorate the stores that sell my merch and make them look all boom. Then they stand out, you know? No store would sell your stuff. You're so stupid. Of course not. You're such a fool. That's why I'll open an official Monokuma shop. I'm thinking about opening chains all over this all over the world. Of course, the main attraction will be my life-size Monokuma plushie. I can't believe you thought that far into the future when you made these. Your business is doomed to fail. <laughs> Enough already! You have no business sense anyway, so just stop it! No, no! Hey, hey, don't say that! Well, let's do our best together. We'll be as popular as Pogs were in the 90s. Pogs were everywhere back in the 90s. Oh my gosh, elementary school, collecting Pogs? Hey, hey. I never knew where to get them, so I think I only had like one or two that I found from school. <laughs> found. <laughs> oh God. Um, don't you remember how long those stayed popular? Besides, if you're serious about opening a business, you've already committed a major mistake. I won't forgive Because there's you. no merch of me. My little sister. Oh, Monami. Don't you know the Aesop's fable about the rabbit and the bear? Hmm? Not a tortoise? Hey. A um... long, long time ago, there were these two old guys. Hey. Two old guys living together? Shing. I thought he just held her hand, his hand up. The old guys thought rabbits aren't as popular as bears. The end. Ooh. Huh? Did you even need the old guys in that story? In other words. So even if I made merch of you, it's pointless. <laughs> A half peak rabbit is so lame. You don't even have one ounce of good fashion sense. You're wearing a, a pull up. <laughs> You stupid brother! You did this to me! You're the one who has no fashion sense! He punched her from one corner to the other corner of my TV screen, bro. How long will they let this happen? Till I click. way of snapping back. 
But honestly, you know, I can't help but feel like I might have made too many panels. Special bleeding service. So whoever wants to decorate the room, please do it as much as you like. Here. Come on. What are you waiting for? <sighs> Hajime, let's run. You're right. When have we ever ran from Monokuma? Didn't we just talk about not running and just fighting? We ran out of the warehouse, narrowly avoiding Monokuma's plan for inventory disposal. It's like you just got tired. <sighs> yeah, you're right. What? <laughs> Chiaki, you tripping right now. Hold on, hold on. You kind of, you, you acting like you glitching. Like, I don't know, I, like my my save file corrupted and you just, like you you in Doki Doki Club or something, bro. Jabber, Jabberwock Army, military base. Oh, I guess that's where the chopper, yeah, there you go. Hmm, that thing over there. Is that a tank? Is it real? Not just that. There's a lot of other stuff here that looks really dangerous. I mean, choppers, tanks, little jeeps, bro. Golly. Um. This appears to be a military base. Is that so? Despite the fact that this island is quite small, the military technology here seems rather extensive. All right. These might prove useful when the time comes to combat the future foundation. Useful? There's no way we'd be able to operate stuff like tanks and heavy weapons. Huh? Really? In my country, even a child in grade school can operate a tank no problemo. No problem. Where, did, where are you from? You're so confusing. Um. A course in modern warfare is required class in all our grade schools. Would that even be a good thing? I don't. I don't think so. An obsession with anime, and now this. Sonya's country never ceases to baffle me. However. Weapons are only weapons when humans start to use them. I am concerned. If no one uses them, they are nothing more than scrap metal. You're right. Unfortunately, this stuff in the base probably won't be useful to us. So Sonya's a conservative, you know. She she wants her guns and she wants them now. Please wait. She said people kill people, not guns. No, that is wrong. Huh? Um. Well, I have discovered a puzzling document in the tank operator's seat. That's the Future Foundation's insignia. Jabberwock Island Development Plan. What, what what is this? However, I assume it belongs to Monokuma, and it was placed rather ostentatiously. I do not know how much we can trust it. Do you think it could be a useful clue? Monokuma probably did leave it. Like you said, it's hard to know how much we can trust it. So what does it say? Beyond what is written in here, I, I do not know much. Well? But it does document Jabberwock's Island, Jabberwock Island's redevelopment plan at considerable length. And what is the plan? To place Jabberwock Island under the Future Foundation's control and prepare it as a central headquarters. A central headquarters for the Future Foundation. I, I thought Jabberwock Island was a tourist destination. Why would the Future Foundation be interested in it? Um. In actuality, there was something written in here that caught my attention. The travel agency that managed Jabberwock Island went bankrupt. So the island was uninhabited for a long time. Because of that, the island was unaffected by the incident which allowed them to easily gain a foothold. Wait, wait, hold on. This place was uninhabited for a long time? 
If that's true, the maintenance here has been way too attentive. The items at the supermarket are always stocked and the hotel is still really clean. Could that be the future foundation's responsibility? That's what I'm talking about, Spike. I, I, I caught it at the beginning of this episode, bro. Where's the bin at? Or B, I, I mean. But more importantly, what's the incident? What does it mean that the island was unaffected by it? Um. I, I cannot discern this, that from this passage alone. Simply reading this will not help me grasp what those, world, what those words mean. Sorry, y'all. Well? However, there is one more thing that caught my attention. There's more. Do you remember the guidebook to Jabberwock Island in the library? Um. It was written there that the central island houses a large administrative building. However, we could not find that building anywhere. We even commented on how strange that was, right? But according to this plan, the building that the Future Foundation is planning to use for their headquarters. Could it be that same building? Um. They are planning to rebuild it and use it as the Future Foundation's headquarters. Or so it is written. But what the heck? It's so inconsistent. How do you rebuild a building that doesn't even exist? Damn it, what the hell is going on? Perhaps. We were so distracted by all the horrible situations that kept happening. One after the other. We might have overlooked a more pressing issue. What if that time bomb that's at the park is... I mean, we've seen so many buildings pop up out the ground, bro. I think that could be either a bomb or the building shooting about the ground or that thing turning into the building in what five days four days and that is the mystery of this island but what's really going on this mystery doesn't make any sense no matter how much we think about it there's no reason behind it all right let's look at all these other weapons and stuff is this a military truck Unlike the airplane at the first island, this looks like it actually has an engine inside. But I don't even know how to drive. And besides, it's not like I can escape this island by driving off of it. They always thinking about escaping, bro. This is a tank, right? It, is it real? Can it move? I had the nerd to have Monokuma picture on it still. This helicopter. Is this the helicopter Monokuma used to ex execute Teru Teru? This, this helicopter. Don't screw with me. What did he just do? Ow. Um. Hajime, what happened? It, it's nothing. I'm fine. I couldn't help punching it, but I just ended up hurting my fist. What an idiot. Damn it. I'm so weak. What did you think was going to happen from punching a helicopter, bro? You're not smart, bro. Man, this place is boring. Boring? What are you talking about? There's a tank here. You. Huh? I like strong dudes. Weapons don't excite me at all. Obviously. A real man fights with his fists. That goes for women, too. All right. You want to battle a little? If you win, you can rest on my boob pillows. <gasps> this is the start of something new. I can't remember the rest of the lyrics, bro. Shout out High School Musical. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Hajime, knock her ass the f out, bro. Look, look, I don't know what chair told y'all before y'all got here. Look, look, look. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're, you're, I, you haven't even got no camera time. Y'all must have been talking behind the scenes, huh? I thought these was high rises. Sea King Industries. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that a mono beast? There's a bunch of strange machines lined up in all directions. It feels very sci-fi. Seeking Industries. Huh? Where's Nagito? They're a company that specializes in manufacturing electric insulation and other machine parts. They're a mid-sized company with only 100 employees, but they're the biggest corporation on Jabberwock Island. In this place, looks like a research facility. For a mid-sized company, this is a pretty nice facility. Ah, uh, I guess so. I only read about them in a pamphlet next to the reception desk. Besides, the size of the company isn't the issue here. What's going on? This company obviously doesn't make machine parts. So just what the heck are they making here? He's right. It's like they're making something more dangerous. Seems like it might be a good idea to thoroughly investigate this place. Fair enough. Um, I mean, we, we passed like through like three doors. Everybody's hitting me up today. But this machine is making another machine. The finished product looks like it's modeled after a four-legged animal. Hey, hey, hey! Doesn't that animal-looking machine remind you of anything? Are you talking about the mono beasts? Maybe. Is there any chance that those mono beasts were created here? The mono beasts are created here. Fine, fine. Yup, that's what this place is for. Hey, hey! No matter how much you insist it's a game, people won't be convinced if a place like this doesn't exist, right? Bye bye. That's why it's just fine. There's something wrong with you. What, 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 what the hell did he mean by that? He wasn't making any sense at all. It doesn't matter who's convinced, because I'll never be convinced. What's going on? I mean, this place is for manufacturing machine parts. Why are they able to create such a dangerous robot in a place like this? Does this mean Monokuma took over this place and modified it to do this? Damn it. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. This automated machine looks like it's making something. He making a baddie. Is this a mannequin? Maybe. It's a humanoid machine. Is that a robot? You serious? Serious? How can they make robots? <gasps> hey! Just how far did technology advance without me knowing? Do you think Nekumaro was made here? That was close. It's a similar humanoid robot. It's possible, maybe. Hey, hey, hey! But why would a company that manufactures machine parts have access to this kind of technology? I don't know. Maybe this place is somehow connected to the Future Foundation, too. I'm gone. Take a look around some more at what, bro? Let me out. Maybe you need to talk to Kazuichi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Kazuichi, get a hold of yourself. Huh? <laughs> Why? Why? Because you just started laughing all of a sudden. <laughs> well, obviously. What else am I going to do except laugh? I mean, it's just so childish. Like, what are you talking about? Hey. Well, there's a computer over there, so I started snooping around to see if I could find any clues. Whoever was using this computer must have been sending emails to his buddy or something. <laughs> <laughs> he was probably trying to write a manga or something. He sent one of his story ideas to his buddy. It was such a horrible, delusional story. I was so embarrassed to read it that it, it gave me goosebumps. <laughs> It's about Future Foundation. I think he's reading plans, like schematics or something. Delusional story. So, what was written in the email anyway? Well, I'll start with the idea for the story. 
apparently get this right global riots are occurring in various regions around the world <laughs> and these riots right were caused by high school students i mean seriously that's not realistic at all so yeah so these riots right and just keep growing as people grow more dissatisfied and frustrated with society until eventually <laughs> it, it spreads like an infectious disease all over the world hmm. footage of these riots start getting circulated and strange incidents start occurring one after another a hopeless anxiety instantly spreads throughout the world as the end of the world gets closer and closer end of the world <laughs> i know right it sounds like something a lame high school band would think of as a song title hey. whoever wrote this one needs to come up with better story ideas because this wasn't realistic at all it wasn't it chief it wasn't it i mean students causing a riot on that scale is totally impossible i never believe it for a second <laughs> but i learned a valuable lesson i should always delete embarrassing emails right away hey about that are you sure it's okay to say it's just a made-up story <laughs> of course i mean unrealistic things might happen in real life from time to time but of course not there's no way this is real it's more impossible than a notebook that kills people just by writing in it spike spike what you know about some death note bro you saying death note is real bro what are you saying with that statement bro because what kazuichi just said is real factual that factual to actual bro it's facts why would you come on here and bring up death note who has that book bro you, you're right it's just a lot of unimaginable things have kept happening to us so maybe i'm getting a little confused the world ending there's no way something so unbelievable could actually happen <laughs> well at any rate it's clear now isn't it what's clear uh, this used to be sea king industries but it's not anymore i see after this island became uninhabited uninhabited monokuma took over this place and modified it without permission he did all this just to shock us that's the reason that's right. it's not so weird this whole time he's been doing similar stuff to us but why this is bad maybe there's a bunch of crazy rich dudes who are into this stuff man uh, they're the ones who are making us kill each other those bastards get off on watching kids kill each other hey 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 wait hold on now that i said it out loud there's actually a, a terrible assumption I mean, I mean if that's true then our fates are in the hands of those rich perverted bastards that sounds like something that would happen in a work of fiction but the thought of it actually happening in reality is definitely unsettling where did you get a band a, like a a face mask from you are not Hamburglar, bitch. You are not Sonic Crash Bandicoot, bitch. Like, we're out of here. Yo. Hey, Hajime. I was looking for you. What's up, Fuiko? Well. Now, I was thinking you've probably finished exploring this island by now. You're right. I, I think I've explored everywhere at least once for now. Damn right. Then do you want to meet up with everyone and discuss things? I mean, yeah, I, I don't mind. Huh. I figured it'd be annoying if we all went back to the hotel for this. But there's a street nearby lined up with food vendors. So I told everyone to meet up there. Bro, I met you there. That's where we both talked at. Later. I'm heading over there right now. 
Hurry up and come over. After letting me know, Fuyuhiko left the area. He actually took the time to tell everyone about that, huh? Well, now's not really the time to be impressed by something like that. It'd be a bad time to make others wait. I should hurry over to the street with the food stands. I thought he, I thought Hajime pointed that out because he thought Fuy, uh, Fuyuhiko was on some foul, but I'm just, I'm automatically thinking foul and all of them keep repeatedly saying out loud, we need to work together and be friends and all that fighting, you know, whatever, whatever. I don't trust none of these people, bro. I don't trust Fuyuhiko. I don't trust, I mean, I kind of trust Fuyuhiko. You know who's kind of throwing me off these past two, three episodes? Chiaki. I just, just can't, can't trust, trust that bitch. Let's go. Cause she like, I don't know, she being weird. She hasn't really, well no, during the trial, she did come through, she did come through. And I was talking about eating booty, so. <laughs> All right, looks like everyone's here. It's just the fact that she, I don't know, bro. That, that was kind of weird interaction uh -huh. earlier. This nigga, Nagito, I'm over here pressing Chiaki and I should be worried about Nagito. Huh? What about Nagito? Who cares? It's not like he's our friend or anything. Like... I couldn't get in touch with him. Now, I don't know where the hell he is or what he's doing. Now then. So how'd it go? Did you learn anything about the Future Foundation? Hmm... Not really. Like... You know, I feel like I learned stuff. I'm like... But I also feel like I didn't learn anything. I'm like... It's not clear which information we found is believable, if any. However... I believe there is no question that the Future Foundation is behind everything that has been going on. Well... Are we sure about that? Huh? Huh? W what are you saying? If they are not our enemy, then what are they? If they're our ally, there's no way they trap us on this island. Well, yeah. That's true, but... There's something I've been thinking about. This nigga Fuyuhiko kind of swaggy, bro. Like, I didn't give him enough credit for his fit and his cut. Bro lost an eyeball. He got a swaggy patch. Hey. And he stabbed himself in the gut to show himself as part of the team. Like, he jumped himself in. Monami works for the Future Foundation, right? She's pretty much admitted it by this point. But even though Monokuma is forcing us to kill each other... Monami has been opposing him. Huh? You mean pretending to oppose him, right? That's wrong. No, I don't think she's pretending. They clearly hate each other. Hm. Then it's possible that the enemy of our enemy is actually an ally. Because she opposes Monokuma, you think she's our ally. Please wait. Even if they both oppose one another, is it not possible that they are both our enemy? Brothers and sisters fight all the time. Bro, growing up, there was this one time, growing up, there was this one time where me and my sister, I have two sisters. It was the, my youngest sister. I'm still the youngest, but out of the two sisters, my younger one. I think at the time she was probably like 16 and I was probably like 12, 12 or 13. I can't really remember, bro. But I remember it was just me and her home alone, bro. I think either we had a we had a day from school, so both of our parents were at work, and we was just at the house in the backyard, and I don't know what caused it, bro, but we was just taking turns slapping that. I'm talking about slapping the taste, the black off of each other's faces, bro. Just like, let me do it in the mic. We will be slapping each other like this. Now, Mike, I'm not gonna hit you, bro. Relax. Even though I didn't want to go out like a bitch, I went out like the biggest bitch, bro. I can't get a good slap. It'd be like... <laughs> and we would just take turns back and forth. I think I started crying first, but I was still slapping her, though. She did not cry at all, though. Starting to get pumped up. Like a three-way battle. That's kind of hot. Hey. Why, after all this time, are you suddenly backing up the Future Foundation? Whoa! Are you talking like that because you're actually the traitor that's working for them? Damn it. Don't be a fucking idiot. I won't be fooled. No way. You're clearly suspicious. I mean, if you don't... Settle down. Kazuichi Shota, shut up! 
Why did I say Shota? Yo, Kazuichi looking kind of suspicious right now too. He like having laughing panic attacks in a in a uh, manufacturer place. Like he said, yes. Listen. There never was a traitor. Monokuma lied to us. Oh my. L lied? Well. It is simply a false entity that Monokuma made up. So we would be suspicious of each other. Maybe I'm the traitor the way that I'm playing this game. You insolent fool. How can you not believe in your friends after everything we have endured together? <sighs> Nagito. Weak. How weak. Man. Instead of facing the problem directly and overcoming it, you're desperately trying to run away. Such despair. That weakness is hopeless. Nagito. Nagito, where have you been this whole time? Jeez. I wonder where your thought process wandered off to. As usual, you guys just keep running around in circles. <laughs> what are you, hamsters? Do show up immediately roasting. We haven't seen him in, in about 24 hours now. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> if I compare you guys to hamsters, will I get yelled at by that weakling who dropped out? Is he talking about Gundam? That is. W what does that. Now then. You asked where I've been this whole time, right? Well. Well. I was in the middle of looking for someone. Looking for someone? I thought that the person might have already arrived. But I guess I was wrong. <laughs> or maybe that person is hiding in a secret location and carefully watching us. You. Hey, who are you talking about? Are you saying there's someone else on this island besides us? <laughs> is probably the survivor of the killing school life. Huh? Huh? How about it? If so, a lot of things might start adding up. Don't you think? Are you talking about Ryakia? He's the survivor you're talking about, right? What? Huh? <laughs> oh, I see. You guys have only reached that stage. What stage? You're not making sense at all. It's not making sense. So is Nekamaro watching us or he's just like a parrot, like just repeating stuff? Jeez. But still, if you think about it properly, you might be able to figure it out. Why would Kuya, a survivor of the, school, of the killing school life, die in vain like he did at the very beginning? Right? Don't you think it's strange? Huh? What does that mean? That is an order. The issue is not with what it me what he means. Please take back what you said about Kuya dying in vain. That's right. Yeah. Listen to Miss Sonia. Well, you have been acting very strange lately. I do not like this version of Nagito we have been witness to. <laughs> I don't like it either. Well, I never liked you in the first place. This is troubling. Aw. Oh, it looks like I'm being hated. Well, that's understandable. There's no way you guys can even comprehend my suffering. Well, knowing the truth can be pretty painful in its own way. The truth? What truth? What do you know? <laughs> Curious, are you? But why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who the traitor is? <laughs> huh? Actually, to tell you the truth, I still haven't figured out who the traitor is. <laughs> but it won't take me very long. You guys don't have to worry. <laughs> I'll weed out the traitor, even if it costs me my life. What? Y you're gonna weed out the traitor. Please wait. As as I have already said, there is no traitor. <laughs> <laughs>
I'll bet in the end, you're just gonna raise your hand and go, I'm actually the traitor, right? <laughs> you're a funny guy, Kazuichi. But why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who the traitor is? If I'm able to wipe out all the despair on this island, will I? This is exciting! Will I become the ultimate hope? Ultimate hope? You. What the hell are you talking about? Have you finally lost your damn mind? Now then. Now I should get going. But if you see Monokuma again, there's something I want you to tell him. Tell him he doesn't need to provide a motive anymore. Huh? <laughs> Tell him not to worry, because I'm planning to go all out. Besides, the next one will probably be the last. Could it be? Nagito, what does that mean? Bye now. Bye now? Nagito ignored Chiaki's question and left us. And we were powerless to stop him. It was clear to us that trying to stop him would just be useless. Hey, hey. I don't want to think about it, but could he be planning a kill? Are you kidding me? To kill? Who? Who is he going to kill? Damn it. Based on how he was talking, it looks like his target is the traitor. Please wait! There is no such person! I mean, the notion that one of us has been deceiving us all along! I will never, ever believe that! Is this the whole squad right here? Bro, the traitor... And Nagito. I'm looking at Chiaki kind of crazy right now, y'all. If I'm keeping it one thou wow. Oh no. Oh man, nah. Cause this is the thing. This is the thing. Fuyuhiko already had his character transformation when he lost his 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 friend. Sonya too. The fact that she keeps trying to brush off the fact that there's no traitor. Suspect. Akane lost Nekamaru. She's got an, a chip on her shoulder. I doubt that she would be the type. She doesn't seem like it. She kind of too. She's like the sexual appeal to this game. Sadly, this is a freaking not a kid's game, but you know. Chiaki though. I was hoping Chiaki would be like this game's Kyoko. Still can be. I don't want to jump the gun. But she would make for a fire trader. Kazuichi, he don't, he, he cared, he comedy relief right now. I think Fuyahiko's really gonna stand out these last two, uh, last two, um, chapters, I think. I think there's, there's a chapter after this. What if whoever it is has forgotten about it? What if the traitor has forgotten that they're the traitor? Ooh. Just like how I forgot that I don't have a talent. Uh. Well, regardless of who he's targeting, there's a high chance that he's planning to kill, right? That's right. Then we gotta tie him up again. Forcing him to stop is the only way. Oh. It's impossible. Nekumaru is not even here anymore. I'll show you my serious side. I've got what it takes to deal with someone as weak as him. I'm here too. So Nekumaru is here. That's fire that he that they were able to bring him back. But why is he? <laughs> huh? Then that's a yes, right? Just leave it to me. Once I come up with the plan, we'll meet up again. Tie up Nagito, huh? Kazuichi is right. It's dangerous to let Nagito wander freely. If we're being cautious, we have to act fast. <sighs> Excuse me, y'all, but what is this indescribable anxiousness I'm feeling? I hope 
it just means I'm thinking too much. For the time being, we decided to finish our exploration of the final island and return to the hotel. It was already dark by the time we returned to the hotel. Nobody's outside, nobody trying to talk. Oh, cool, all the homies. I, I believe that there is no traitor. Do you have a minute? No, that is not the issue. After all, it is impossible. Well? Why does Nagito not understand that? And furthermore, he even made an insulting remark about Gundam. That was about Gundam, wow. Uh. Gundam gave his life so he could teach us something important. Sonya. Um. At the time, Gundam scolded me for attempting to stop his execution. But looking back on it, he would forgive me with a smile on his face, right? Yeah. Definitely. I... Gundam stayed true to himself until the very end. I will never forget that. No. Huh. I'll do Nekamaru's share of the grunt work. Leave it to me! I'm pretty confident about my strength. As long as nobody grabs my tail, there won't be any problems. No promises. You have a tail? You. Obviously, I'm joking. I'm talking about that fatty wagon I'm carrying. Obviously. Nick and Nakamaru had to speak up on me. He said, yeah. The glutes needed my extra attention each time we met up for it. I'm I sure see. it did. Don't be thinking stuff like, if you want to see a tail, I got one. If you grab it, <laughs> it'll get even more powerful. <laughs> Was that a Dragon Ball Z joke? That's a terrible joke. It's even worse than a joke an old man would make. Y'all aren't talking about anything. Jeez. Even her ignorance has a limit. What are you talking about this time? Huh? It's Sonya. She had the nerve to say she wanted to check out my body. Huh? Your body? Yo, Fuya Hiko, I mean, Bastard. yeah, Fuya Hiko getting to getting this work, bro. And he's just passing it up each time. D -d Don't think about weird things, you bastard. It wasn't like that. I don't know where she heard it from, but she came up to me and said, real Yakuza are supposed to have tattoos, so show them to me. Oh, so that's what it was. Shout out Yakuza. Uh, click right. Click right here. Look, look, this is, look, y'all are the perfect audience for this gameplay, bro. If you want to check out some, some more fire ass gameplays that remind you a little bit of Dangan, click right there right now, bro. Yakuza playthrough, bro. Get you, get you started on that for the summertime or something. Damn it. Put it in your watch later list. I got a few things in my watch later. I got, um, I got like, uh, you know, some funny videos. I got, um, I got a video in there that I'm trying to watch later about how to cure angular chelitis in three days. Angular chelitis is basically when you start, when you, when you are dehydrated and you start drooling while you sleep as well, and the cracks of your, of your mouth get a little tender. So I don't have that right now, but I do get affected by it, you know, when, in times when I'm not drinking enough water. So you said you don't give a f my fault. It's not funny for her to tell me to strip right in front of her. Who does she think she is? Besides, tattoos aren't supposed to be gawked at. Whatever. Let me just see if there's homies inside. Chiaki. Let's just, let's just gauge this interaction solely, bro. As if nothing weird happened prior. Let's just see how she acts. The plan to capture Nagito, huh? Akane looked pretty confident, but is she really going to be all right? I mean, she's strong, but Nagito is, you know, unpredictable. You're right, but I don't know how else we're supposed to catch him. I don't even know if this is the right thing to do. If Nekomaru was still here, would he let Akane go through with this? See? Uh, Actually, he'd probably get pumped up about our capturing plan al um, along with her. 
you know, he did capture him once before. Yep. And Kazuichi helped him that time too. It feels like Gundam and Nekumara are scolding us for not growing at all. Maybe. She's in my good graces again. I feel weird pressing her like that. She's probably she she is the Kyoki character. She's the only one in here like being thoughtful about our plans. We just kind of all being irrational. Is that where's where's Kazuichi ass at? Kazuichi, come outside, bro. Oh, brother, I'm going to bed then. For some reason, I'm really tired today. Well, since I walked around all day today, I was able to obtain several clues. Although I'm not really certain if you can even call these clues. Instead, I feel like we're just suffering from more mysteries that don't make sense. This isn't good. As soon as nighttime hits, I can't stop thinking of all these pessimistic thoughts. This might be a bad habit of mine. I should just get some sleep for today. Rest my mind for a while. And then I'll give this some more thought tomorrow. I try my hardest to connect Actually. the dots between the theaters and the actual gameplay. So let's Words are extremely dangerous. Okay. Unlike letters, words cannot be undone with eraser or with a backspace. Right. That's why you need to be extremely careful. Same game, same goes for me. There was a time in my past when I went through a lot of trouble because of that. That's right. When I was being trained at the safari park, at the time, there were two animals at the park that I got along with. One was a squirrel named Sir Dietrich, and the other was a fox named Cha-Cha Jr. To be honest, Cha-Cha Jr. was really stupid. If a female employee tried to have a serious talk with him, he just stared at her boobs the whole time. That's why Sir Dietrich would order him to steal panties. And that idiot would get real happy when he exchanged the panties he stole for Dietrich's old undies. What? Also, this one time, the three of us went to a steakhouse and the waiter asked, How would you like it cooked? Cha Cha Jr. probably said, With fire! Sir Dietrich was pretty crafty. He knew how to play Cha Cha Jr. I like my steaks, medium. But that was back when I ate them. Damn, I could use a good steak right now, dude, but I won't eat it, though. I won't eat it. He made Cha Cha Jr. abduct the fawn and drown it. Then he saved that drowning fawn himself. And he made Cha Cha Jr. tell everyone about it. Man, he really did some shady things. Anyway, the three of us were getting along together. We were living a fun life in the safari park. That's right. Until the day I ended up saying those words. I accidentally said this to Cha Cha Jr. Foxes are squirrels' natural enemies. The next day, I stumbled across what was left of Dirt Dietrich Sr. He had been eaten. Good thing I immediately tattled to a male employee so he could put down Cha Cha Jr. with a hunting rifle. Even now, I regret saying what I said back then. What the hell? Jeez, squirrels have it rough. They have so many natural enemies. I'm gonna have to listen to that video. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna have to listen to that theater over after the video is done. What are y'all thoughts on that? Actually, I can't even read the comments because I don't want any spoilers. Interesting though. All right, you guys. Well, that does it for today's episode of Danganronpa. Um, we will be back again very soon. If you're enjoying this, make sure you slap a like on this video. Subscribe if you are new. Love y'all and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Interesting, interesting, interesting.